Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I got a quick video for you here. It's kind of similar to one of my previous videos where I showed you how to move your current VirtualBox VM to an external drive to save space, but you can also install a VirtualBox VM onto an external drive. So maybe your host machine does not have any storage space left at all and you need to install it to the drive right away. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video today. Okay, so first off you need some sort of external drive. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to be using just a normal SanDisk flash drive. Now I don't recommend you actually do this. I recommend you get some sort of external hard drive or even better an external SSD because it will run much better off of those than a little old flash drive but I don't have any external hard drives laying around, so that's why I'm gonna use a flash drive for this video. Now, it's not impossible to run the virtual machine on a flash drive, you can try it, but like I said, try to get an SSD because that'll be the fastest way to run your machine. Now, I have many videos on the channel about how to install uh, Windows 10, Ubuntu, Windows XP, Windows 8.1. I mean, I got all sorts of VirtualBox tutorial videos, so I'm going to kind of speed through the installation process. I'm just going to show you the crucial step when you start to actually put it on your external drive. So be sure to check out the channel if you want to know more in depth about how to set up your virtual machine and all that stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're obviously going to plug in our external drive. In this case, like I said, it's my flash drive. Now, it is important to note that you can have other stuff installed on this drive, or I guess I should say other stuff stored on this drive, like normal files and things like that. So here's my flash drive right here. I have mine empty at the moment. Normally, your virtual machines are in your home folder. So if you head over to your Macintosh HD, wherever that is, you go into your users and you go into your home folder and you're gonna see the VirtualBox VMs folder. So this is the default location where all your virtual machines will be stored. And you can see that my two that I have are right there. So really all we're gonna be doing is changing the location of the actual installation point. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna hit new right here and as you can see, the very first step is to name your virtual machine, but also where you would like it stored. So your machine folder. This is what you have to change to install it onto the external drive. So very first step, this is what you got to do. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to be installing Windows XP. So you just type in whatever name you would like there. It's the name that's going to show up over here in this little sidebar area. But we just click on this drop down menu right here on our machine folder and click on the other right there. And once you do that, you just choose your external drive. And that's what we're gonna do. So right here, our external drive. And if you want it to, let's say you had other files on here, you could make a folder in here. I mean, you can just click new folder. So you could put it wherever you want on your external drive, but we're just gonna hit open on that. And there you go, so the machine folder is now set to our external drive. And now we just go through the uh, virtual machine setup. So you choose your RAM size. Again, I have videos on the channel about going more in depth about this. You can check it out. Your hard disk, so we create a virtual hard disk now. The virtual box disk image. We're gonna dynamically allocate it. And I'm gonna bump this up to uh, well, I only have 32 gigs on this drive, so we'll just do about 20, I guess, on here. 20 gigs, not 2,000. <laughs> 20 gigs on there. But that's another important thing and a good reason why you don't want to use a flash drive. Uh, you know, most flash drives are on the smaller side. Like this one, it's only 32 gigs. But now we have the virtual machine all set up. We can click Start. And it's going to pop up. It wants us to select our ISO. So I have that stored somewhere. I believe it's in my downloads. Yep, right here. That's my Windows XP ISO. You just navigate to wherever yours is stored. 
and then we can hit start. And we are now completely running this off of our flash drive. So the Windows setup, I mean, this whole thing is running off the flash drive right now. And just to show you, we can go in here now. It has created a new folder for us. So Windows XP right there. And we can go into it and we can see everything right here that the virtual machine needs. So this is the most important file right here. This is the VDI image. So that's your virtual box disk image. That's where pretty much your hard virtual hard drive is for the computer. Uh, this is just logs uh, in case something goes wrong. And this is basically like your settings and stuff. So over here, all your settings and everything is stored right there. And we can actually search up our hard drive again right there. You can see that those existing machines are still there and our Windows XP one is on our flash drive. And just to show you, <laughs> I do not recommend doing this, but I'm just gonna unplug it. So hold on, let me hit function F8 to agree to those terms and we'll just, we'll really jack it up. We'll start the formatting and everything. But just to show you, if I unplug this, it's not gonna be a good time. So as you can unsee, it's unplugged and yeah, that did not go good. So definitely don't unplug that, but that's just the way to show you that, hey, this is running off of this. So we can probably uh, do that again here. Well, I'm gonna have to restart. But anyways, I was just showing you that it was definitely running off of that external drive uh, right there. So that's how you install your VirtualBox VM onto your external drive. And the main reason why you might wanna do that, like I said, you don't have a lot of host machine space. I mean, I know there's a lot of Macs that are only 256 gigabytes and sometimes you need quite a bit when you're doing something like Windows 10 or Ubuntu. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, let me know if you have any issues in the comments down below, but I will see you all in the next video.